Company, world's largest manufacturer of low-pressure tires, presents another howl of music and entertaining Jack Benny. The orchestra opens 24 hours in Georgia. And now, for the last time on this General Tire series, I present to you that star of stage, screen, radio, hotel lobbies, and street corners, Mr. Jack Benny. <laughs> Thank you. That's a fine introduction, Don, street corners. All I can say, ladies and gentlemen, is that the football season is now on, and I wish that I were a tackle and Don Wilson was coming my way with the ball. Oh, you're kidding, Jack. No, I'm not. Well, you know that my old racket is football, and every year when the football season starts, my blood begins to tingle. Yeah, Don, where'd you play football? With the U of C. You don't say. Sure. Well, I remember in my third year in college, I made 23 touchdowns. Hmm, 23. Yes, and in my last year, I made 34 touchdowns. <laughs> but not today, Jack. No, Don, today you just make touches. <laughs> In fact, on, on this program, they call you Touch Don. You know? <laughs> All right, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, stick to the routine. Uh, uh, did you ever play football? Well, I carried a few pigskins in my day. Uh, I know you worked in a slaughterhouse, but did you ever play football? <laughs> sure, I played football. Listen, I used to work right alongside a red grain. Oh, the same team? No, the same ice wagon. <laughs> <laughs> but no kidding, Don, I played a lot of football in my college days. Well, I didn't know that you were a university man. Uh, what college did you attend, Jack? The U of I.C. I.C.? Yes, International Correspondence. <laughs> and you played football on a correspondence school team. Sure, Don. I used to send in some great forward passes by mail. <laughs> well, I remember one day we needed a touchdown to win, and I sent it in by air mail. Uh, that, did that win the game? No, I only put a three-cent stamp on it, and it came back. Oh, that's, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. Uh, Frank Parker's my name, remember? Oh, yes, <laughs> And speaking of football, you know I played on the U of L. Oh, good old Leavenworth, huh? What year, Parker? What year? 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, all right. I mean, what the? What brought you to that college? Penmanship. Hmm, forgery. That's a great study. Uh, tell us something about your football. Well, one day I grabbed the ball and ran 600 yards for a touchdown. He must have been a big field. Oh yes. I ran right through the woods and the whole team came after me, but they couldn't get the ball away. Why not? It was chained to my ankle. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Frank, you should have gone to Princeton. That never would have happened, you know? Hey, Jack, I haven't said anything yet. I know, Mary, but we're speaking of football. After all, that's out of your line. It is. You don't think I went to Vassar to learn crocheting, do you? Well, all right, Mary, tell us about your football experiences. Well, have one you... day we were playing Bryn Mawr. You mean that girls' college near Philadelphia? Yes, and what a game. More than 70,000 people didn't show up. Oh, what a game. What, what was the score, Mary? It was the last quarter. Faster had 14 and Bryn had more. Oh. And that's only the first joke. Bryn more, I get it, I get it. Yes. Uh, then Miss Sarah Maloney, their halfbackers, threw the ball to their quarterbackers, but I intercepted the ball. What does intercepted mean? What's the difference as long as you're healthy? Oh. <laughs> So I started to run for good old Vassar and went for a touchdown. 20 yards, 20 30 yards. yards, 40 yards, 50 yards. Yes? And what yards? All with garden. Mary, Mary, wait a minute. This is a, this is a half hour program. That's what I'm worried about. Oh. Well, anyway, I kept running. Nobody could stop me, and I finally crossed the goal. And you scored a touchdown? No, I looked around, and to my surprise, I didn't have the ball. <laughs> Not to my surprise, though. Mary, how could you forget the ball? Well, I did the running. I can't think of everything. <laughs> Listen, I'll bet if you played polo, you'd forget the horse. Yes, if it was water polo. Oh, I was just going to say play, Don, but I thought maybe you'd have something to say about football. Eh, well, Don? I never uh, played exactly, but I was coach. Coach on what team? General Tires. Coach on General Tires? Me, I was chassis on the same team. Well, and here we are together. What are we waiting for? Rickety-rack, rickety-rack. How to do, to do, to General Tire, la, la, la. Hero Vassar, sis, boom, ba. Play, Don, and I don't mean football. That was, uh, that was Don Bester and his Connecticut quarterback playing Valencia. And now tonight, folks, oh, Jack. we are going... Yes, Mary. Uh, do you mind if I get off early tonight? Why? Where are you going? You remember Bert Wheeler, the movie star who came up here two weeks ago? Yes. Well, I have a date with him tonight. We're going to a dance. Are you sure you have a date with Wheeler? 
certainly. I made it myself. Well, what's your hurry? I mean, where's Wheeler? Sitting right out there waiting for me. Where? In the third row. The fellow yawning. Oh, he must, <laughs> he must be thinking of some other program, I guess. Uh, hello, Bert. Hi, Jack. Come on up here a minute. Oh, no. Not tonight. Oh, come on, fellas. Drag him up, will you, for heaven's sake? No, I don't want to. Let me alone now, will you? What's the matter with you, Bert? Let's, don't be bashful. Not tonight, Jack. You see, I'm waiting for Mary. Well, what are you afraid of? I mean, say, I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, you're not going to do me any good either. Oh. Now, look, Jack, this is my first night off, and I prefer to be incognito. What's incognito, Jack? Well, Mary, incognito is when a fella doesn't want to be known and hires four publicity men to advertise it, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go, starting in again. I I'll see you later, Mary. Now, come here, Bert. Look, I'm only kidding. Look, Mary, incognito is, well, when I travel to Europe, I travel incognito. Incognito must mean steerage. That's good, yeah. <laughs> see, you're right at home, Bert. See, you got your laugh. Come on, just say a word to the folks, you know. I can't, Jack. You see, my business is pictures. And my contract with RKO doesn't permit me to broadcast. But how will they know it? Look, I'll call you John Smith. Now, look, Jack, here's my contract. Section 4, Clause 3, it says, mm -hmm. Party of the first part while making pictures must not broadcast. Uh -huh. Be seen in a limousine with Garbo. Oh. Or be called John Smith. Oh, well, you know, Bert, that's funny. I have some peculiar clauses in my radio contract. Now, look, look here. Section 5, it says... Jack Denny, while broadcasting, must not drink, smoke, or eat garlic. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, if my nose isn't kidding, you broke that last clause. <laughs> That's so. It's a fine crack. Well, I'll see you later, Jack. Oh, look, come here, Bert. Don't run away. Listen, Bert, I meant to ask you something the other night. Uh, you know, you make all your pictures with Woolsey, don't you? Will Wheeler and Woolsey? Yeah. Uh, are you two fellas married? No. <laughs> No, we're just partners. I mean, nobody understands me. Bert, I mean, in all the pictures you two fellas make, it's all comedy. I don't, I never see you play any love scenes. Well, how would I look hugging Woolsey? I suppose La Laurel and Hardy have the same trouble. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, so long, Jack. See you later. Thanks, Bert, for coming up. Huh? <laughs> Mary. Mary, you know what kills me? These big movie stars like Wheeler. I mean, what's Bert Wheeler got that I haven't got? Well, he's got a nice set of teeth. All right, I can get a set just like it for my dentist. I know, Jack, but he has sex appeal, too. Get that from your dentist, Jack. <laughs> Play it on. He put that line in himself. And now Frank Parker, our juvenile tenor, will sing The Moon Was Yellow. Say, Jack, what is it that you've got that I haven't got? I don't know what. The five dollars you borrowed. Get that from your dentist. Now sing, Frank. That was Frank Parker singing The Moon Was Yellow. Oh, Don, take the microphone, will you? I'm going to be busy for a little while. What are you... Well, Don, you know this is our last program in this series, and I'm giving a little blowout tonight. Oh, wait a minute. No blowouts on the General Tire program. All right, then, banquet. What's who's the difference? coming over, Jack? Everybody, Don. In fact, the who's who to help me. Mary, you help, too. And Parker, you be the waiter, will you? I wonder if that chef got here yet. Huh? I am here, Mr. Benny. Well, I'm glad you got here. Now, listen, chef, we're having a big party up here tonight. I sent out 20 patients, so I expect about 185 guests. Oui, <laughs> monsieur. Mm-hmm. If he's a Frenchman, then my name is Equipoise. Huh? <laughs> now, look, now, look, and I want a nice dinner. Let's have hors d'oeuvres, consommé de la julienne, filet à casserole, pomme de terre à gratin, nuts à la brésilienne, <laughs> and a demi-good tassy. See? What does that mean in English? Oh, a ham sandwich and a cup of coffee. Oui, monsieur. Now, just a minute. I expect some classy people here. Uh, where did you work as a chef before? Sloppy Joes and the greasy vest. Hmm, I was worried. <laughs> and I was worried. Well, get busy. Bester, you'll have your orchestra stand by for a little dance music, won't you? Oui, oui, ma soeur. Ma soeur? <laughs> and Parker, uh, maybe you'll entertain us with a song or two. Oui, oui, Miser. <laughs> that would be an insult, folks, but he's speaking French, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our guests. <laughs> Looks like our guests are arriving. Here come six crazy limousines. Mary, you go to the door and greet them, will you? I'll get things ready. Why doesn't Parker go to the door? He's got to watch the silverware. Oh, Bester, <laughs> okay, you empty uh, your bottle in the punch bowl. See, I'll pay it back tomorrow. You know? I haven't got a corkscrew. Use the general tire that has the corkscrew grip. 
Ah, they're here. Open the door, Mary, will you? Don, liven up the place a little bit. You know, a little excitement. Good evening, folks. Step right in. Good evening. How do you do? Where's your invitation, please? Right here. Uh, check your coats and hats. I've got to make a living, too. No rackets, Mary. No rackets, you know? Come right in, folks. Invitations, please. Here you are. Who are they, Mary? I don't know. Well, what does it say on the invitation? Uh, Simpsons Pawn Shop. Overcoat, eight dollars. Oh, the Simpsons. The Simpsons, of course. I used to play hockey with them. Hockey watchy. <laughs> Make yourselves at home, folks. <laughs> Answer the bell, Mary. They're coming in fast. <laughs> uh, right this way. Is this the General Tire Banquet? Yes. Invitations, please. Here you are. Who are they, Mary? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. J. non skittington Moore with a silent safety tread. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Tread, of course. Come right in. When do we eat? That's what I'm worried about. Ah, here comes someone else, huh? Well, well, how do you do, stranger? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, what can I do for you, sir? I found an invitation for a banquet. Is this the right place? Uh, this is the Jack Benny General Tire Banquet. Say, it looks like a very fancy evening. I think I'll stay. <laughs> come right in, come right in. Huh? Why, hello, Jack. You remember me? Well, your face is familiar. Schlepperman is the name. Oh, Schlepperman. Sure. I met you on a train coming down from Poughkeepsie. Likewise. <laughs> well, well, well. Tell me, uh, tell me, Mr. Schlepperman, uh, how's your wife? Don't spoil my evening, please. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, how did you get away? Oh, that was easy. I told my wife I was going to play poker with the boy. Oh, poker, eh? Yeah. Listen, Mr. Benny, will you do me a favor? What? Lend me $10 so I can tell my wife that I won. <laughs> Borrow 10 from her, tell her the card remarks, you know? Mary, Mary, see who that is, will you? Come right in. Who is it, Mary? Uh, Mr. John Smith. Oh, Bert Wheeler. Well, come right in, Bert. I can't, Jack. You see, my contract reads... Never the... mind with that contract, will you? Come here, Bert. Bert, I want you to meet Mr. Schlepperman. Mr. Schlepperman, Mr. Wheeler. That's he got the dying got. Hey, wait a minute. That's Bert Wheeler. That's Bert Wheeler, the, the movie star. Oh, well, I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Wheeler. Have you got a cigar? So you're thinking of Woolsey. <laughs> Woolsey, Smolsey, I'll take a cigarette. Likewise. Oh, you too, eh? Hey, well, let's get started. It's getting late. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to sit down and enjoy yourselves. We're going to eat soon. Mary, put the knives and forks on the table. I did. Hmm, gone already, eh? <laughs> well, folks, you'll have to eat with your fingers. I don't want to search you. Garçon, garçon. Hey, Parker, the boss wants you. Yeah, bring in the soup. I got it right here, boss. Of soup on my dress. Don't worry, madam. We have plenty of soup. He'll get you another bowl. Or... Oh, but how about my dress? Look at that thing. You had that when you came in. Hey, hey, just a minute, waiter. Waiter, there's a hair in my soup. A what? You again, hair, hair. What's on my, what's on my head? Nothing. It's in your soup. You're wrong. Just a crack of the plate. Huh? <laughs> it's a good switch, huh? Say, Don. Don, how about having the boys play a hot number while we're eating, yeah? Okay, Jack. All right, folks, on with the soup. Oh, Mrs. Fred. Mrs. Fred, would you mind passing that tall shaker? Tall shaker? That's my engagement ring. Pardon me. Play, Don. Play. Don, liven up the party. That was La Cura Racha. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I nearly choked over that. Played by Don Bester and his orchestra. Hey, waiter, please, uh, take away these two plates. How about the steak? We have no steak. This is embarrassing. What's in the kitchen? Just an axe. Well, then bring us some chops. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, so long as the meat isn't ready, we'll have our after-dinner speeches before dinner. Hmm, we should have gone to child. And I think first we ought to have a toast by Don Wilson. Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Thank you, Jack. Toast. Thank you, Jack. Uh, here's to the good old automobile buyer. Here's to the man that uses the general tire. Here's that, to yeah. the silent safety trail. <laughs> Raving like that for 26 weeks, but he's right. Now, our first speaker this evening will be that eminent, eminent, eminent orchestra leader of the General Tire Program. See, 26 weeks, I said prior, isn't that right? The General Tire Program, Mr. Don Bester. Don, have you a word for us? No, but the squirrels have. <laughs> <laughs> that was awfully good. And now we will hear from that charming little personality, the Shirley Temple of the Air, but a bit older, Miss Mary Livingston. Yeah. Come on, Mary. 
Uh, guests of honor, ladies and gentlemen, waiters, kibitzers, and Jack Benny. Yeah. I didn't expect to be called upon tonight, so I came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I have been associated for the past 26 weeks with Jack Benny on the General Tire program. I have stuck with him through thick and thin. He got thick and I got thin. <laughs> it has been a very pleasant 26 weeks. And Jack, all I can say is, Labor Day, oh, Labor Day, you come to... <laughs> <laughs> Mary fell off the chair, folks, but the play must go on. Huh? I didn't think they'd strike a lady. Now, how about a word from Bert Wheeler? Come on, Bert, come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my contract does permit oh, me... contract. <laughs> ...to say that I have known Jack Benny for a good many years, and circumstances haven't changed him. Thank you, Bert. Fifteen years ago, Jack and I played one-night stands together all around this country. And the papers come out and said we were both a couple of bums. Here it is 15 years later, and Jack hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Bert. That eulogy brought tears to my eyes. And after this program, I'll bring a few to yours. <laughs> It's a date, Jack. Yeah. And now, just a word from Frank Parker. <laughs> what have you got to say, Frank? Yippee! That's enough, that's enough. And now we will hear from that great citizen and honored leader of his community, Mr. J. DeWitt Schlepperman. <laughs> well, my jealous people, <laughs> this Savannah, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so fed up. Hmm. All accustomed as I am to public eating, <laughs> I would like to make a special speech in honor of the picked up chairman, Mr. Jack Bennett. Here, 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 here. Forty years ago, I came here from the Kentucky mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was a hillbilly. <laughs> but they called me Sam. Am I boring you? <laughs> yes, but go ahead. <laughs> and this occasion reminds me of Abraham Lincoln's famous Ginsburg address. That's Gettysburg, Gettysburg. Thank you, thank you. Ginsburg. Thank you, thank you. And as Shakespeare's once said it, all the world's a stage, but thank heaven Jack Ben is on the railroad. <laughs> and furthermore, what is he got that I ain't got? I've got this. <laughs> the same thing happened to me. Yeah. Oh, Jack, Jack, here's a telegram. Thanks, Don. Oh, it's from the telegram. Bill O'Neill, president of the General Tire and Rubber Company. Well, Jack Benny, care of NBC Studios, New York. Gee, you read it, Wilson, will you? <laughs> you know, it's embarrassing. I mean, <laughs> All right, Jack. It says, uh, Jack Benny, care of NBC Studios, New York. Except for your interference on these programs, mm. Don Wilson could have told our audience much more about our new corkscrew tire. Mm, I see. <laughs> you insist that the show's the thing, and on that score, I want to compliment you and the cast on 26 weeks of fine entertainment. Well, that's fair. <laughs> Until we resume these programs next March, you will be broadcasting for General Foods. The only connection between General Foods and General Tires is that we eat their products and they wear ours. You have to live to be able to eat. So the more people we put on General Tires, the more customers we keep for General Foods. Signed, W. O'Neill, President, General Tire and Rubber Company. Well, all I can say is, on behalf of the entire cast, I want to thank you, Mr. O'Neill, the General Tire and Rubber Company, the National Broadcasting Company, and our listening audience for a most pleasant season on the air. And I'm glad to know that we will be with you again. Thank you very, very much. Play, Don. Well, folks, good night. And we'll be with you again on Sunday night, October 14th. I hope you'll all be listening in. Thank you. the National Broadcasting Company. W-E-A-F, New York.